Um, all right, so a big question on the docket here had to do with uh, marriage advice. I ran across marriage month tip of the day. Um, say great job to your man. So the question <laughs> is, is, is this, is this helpful? And, and maybe, maybe it's a glimpse into your, to your marriage. So say as much as you deem appropriate as to whether this would actually sound like something your wife would say. So uh, marriage month tip of the day. A tip for women. Instead of the I love you type words that come naturally, purposefully look for daily opportunities to say what matters most to a man. Thank you. Great job. And I'm so proud of you. Um, we women love to feel loved. We delight knowing that our man adores and cherishes us. We feel special and secure when we hear I love you. In fact, for many of us, feeling loved is the whole point of having the relationship to begin with. Exclamation point. So it is a huge surprise to find that for men, that's not the point at all. And knowing what is the point has the potential to change everything in your marriage. Women, do you want to have a great relationship? Do you want your man to love being with you every day? Do you want this to sound like a late night infomercial? Do you want him to feel cared for? It may sound crazy, but for a guy, there is nothing more appealing, more powerful, more wonderful than feeling that you have noticed what he does in life for you, for the family, at his job, and that you think it was good. So base question, and I'll, we'll, we'll say um, marriage is fine. I'll go with other relationships too so that Booba doesn't feel like a, a wart. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, I, I single guy. <laughs> does, does that on, on your level of priorities, things that that um, that make you feel affirmed in, in a marriage? That sound right, Dan? I, I will say this. I think there's been multiple books written over the years with with multiple research and, and surveys done, and it always the top three needs that go to the top in in these surveys are are the sexual need. The I, they word it differently in each book, but the fellowship i'd like to hang out i want my wife to just kind of hang out with me you don't even have to talk to me just be there yep and and then the admiration type of thing kind of feed the ego and um i've seen that over and over again like i can see it in my own self uh -huh. i can see it in so many people i've talked to through the years that uh, I, I would actually agree with that they they, they want they, they I, I remember early in our marriage i was doing a drywall project and i was i was you know i'd never done drywall before and i was working on this thing for hours and i I had like 80% of it was really looking fine, and maybe 20% was like, eh, you know, let's, we need to work on that. And I brought my wife downstairs, come come and look at this. And I, all I wanted her to do was see the 80%. Yeah. And she, I mean, it wasn't even a split second. Oh, what are you going to do about that? You know, all she could uh -huh. look at, was, and I was just like deflated. Yeah. I thought, then and later I'm like, what a fool. What, what, really? Really? It, yeah. That demoralized me, <laughs> you yeah. know? And, uh, but so there is something about us, I think, uh, in our, our ego that we kind of like to be. Uh, you know, built up a little bit. Yeah, um, and 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 a woman who, a wife who will continually tear down a guy will, will, will definitely hinder him in his life. Yeah, in in career and everything, it, it just will. No, and and I actually um here, here's where I'm where I'm struggling. I think with this particular piece of advice is that I think it's true. I struggle with whether it should be. Yeah, kind of yeah. what you were getting at, right? Like yeah. you're um you know so, so maybe um maybe I mowed the backyard and oh hey thanks for mowing the backyard. Were you gonna weed whack tonight? Yeah, oh. exactly. I see him. Miss kinda, spot over there. You know, and you know, and and the thing is, is like, okay, yeah, that's legitimate. I, I probably should do that. <laughs> um, but but you're right. There is there is kind of a need to be like, oh, you know, I I, I just wanted, you know, you, you know what every preacher says <laughs> on Sunday afternoon? Hey, what'd you think? Oh yeah, I, at least the first twenty years. I mean, I, I don't anymore. I don't care. It's like whatever. You know, I don't, I mean, but but I mean, it, I was I was. If if she didn't say something, I would ask. It'd take a couple hours. I'd try to pretend like it was no big deal. Maybe like, she would say, "Oh, oh by the way, what did you?" you know? <laughs> but that's all I was thinking about. You know, it was like, "What does she think?" Yeah, right. Yeah. Really? Does it matter? I mean, uh, evidently it does. Yeah, and so, so and maybe that's maybe that's the, the well. Here, let me can uh, let me continue with advice. Um, men are different from us. They don't doubt whether we love them. They doubt whether they are any good at what they do for us. Well, I think that's true. The cry of a man's heart isn't, am I lovable, but do I measure up? And more precisely, does she think I measure up? Ladies, that's a very powerful position you have there. And yeah. I think it's pretty accurate. Like, your man, as passive as he might seem, he really wants to impress you. Uh, and, and I suppose the conundrum you put the ladies in with this type of advice is if your man is not impressive. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, you, you should have chose better. <laughs> I, which, which, I, I, so, so, so here's here's the dichotomy, right? It's like, what are you asking women to do? Are you asking a woman to look at your drywall project and not mention the twenty percent? What if it's not it's not good? Well, at least not first. <laughs> Just don't open with it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
because I, I, everybody has something you can affirm them in. You, you know, yeah, everybody is not a Superman and, and a and a great athlete or a great intelligent or yep. whatever their thing is, but they have something that, that you can really build up on. And and yeah, not don't lie to them. I mean, you, you know, don't don't be fake. I mean, there were times I had real flops say sermons. Yeah, and oh yeah, it was. I mean, you know, she never lied to me. She'd always <laughs> say, well, you know, I would have maybe. You know. <laughs> like I know, I just wanted to see what you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because that's no good either. Um... Well, so so maybe so maybe here's because here's here's what I wouldn't want as a man. Here's what I don't want. I don't want disingenuous. Yeah, don't I patronize. Do, I, me. I don't want you to yeah. lie to me. I don't want to say, hey, that's great when it's not great. But like, I guess maybe what I would, based upon this type of advice, what I would say is, is like, I actually want you to be legitimately jazzed about that eighty percent. Yeah, I want hey, you to look better. Say, hey, man, that looks that that looks really good. And like, not just hey, you're telling me that. Like, I I want you to want to encourage me and to see that 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 makes me happy and makes me feel like I'm providing for my family to say that. I don't need you to tell me the twenty percent is great if it's not. Um, but like, I don't want you to fake the eighty percent either, mm-hmm. and so and, and because uh, I think otherwise, what this comes off as is like we need you to lie to your husband. <laughs> like, if even if he stinks at it, your job is to build him up. And I don't, uh, men can smell that too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like, I, I don't, I don't know what that means for for someone to have to actually want to 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 be able to say, hey man, thanks for actually thanks for mowing that lawn. I know you had a long day at work, and I know you probably just wanted to come in and sit down, but thanks for getting out there and doing that. Uh. Do you have time to weed whack tonight? I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I could probably do that. Even better. That's probably this. Yeah. 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 